who's here? Happy New Year. What brings you to this neighborhood? I warned you. Why didn't you listen to me? Why did you squeal on me? I didn't even mention your name. You're a liar. Mr. Williams says you did. I swear I didn't say anything about you. They, they could beat me. I wouldn't have told them anything about you. I don't believe you. I believe him. Manny. Stop. You're going to kill me? Like Gallagher? Go ahead, shoot. Go on. Go on! Smoke, she walked right into that car. Oh, the poor thing. Someone call an ambulance. Too late for that now. A very impressive funeral. I don't quite know why, but I always feel more alive when somebody else has died. I know what you mean. <laughs> of course you do, Manny. You've proven it to me time and again. But this last job, Betty, uh, that was a real masterpiece. You rose decidedly in my estimation. Getting her to run in front of a car, very clever. No bullet wounds, no suspicion. Completely clean. Commendable. Thank you, Mr. Williams. From now on, it might be Vincent, don't you think? Yeah. Vincent. To Manny Cole. New assistant in the Vincent Williams Enterprises. I'll drink to that. To the future, Vincent, to the future. Five hundred. I've had it. Anybody else want to go? Boy, that Ann is some dish. She's a fool to keep chasing Manny. Yeah, it's a waste of time. You won? I'm so glad. Come on, let's go over to your place. Let's take a ride in your new sports car. What color is it, Manny? It's white with red upholstery. Dream boys. Come on, Manny. Let's go over to your place and play some records. Give me another. Make it a double. Hello, Georgie. Hello, Mr. Williams. Having a good time? Oh, swell. Thanks for inviting me. I didn't have anything decent to wear, but... Well, I... we'll have to see to it that you get some new clothes, won't we? Yes, Mr. Williams. Boy, it's sure funny, isn't it? If I had clothes and dough and a car like Mr. Cole, I'd be enjoying myself. A swell time. You're a very observant boy, Georgie. By the way, I thought you handled that camera store job very intelligently. Yes, Mr. Williams. I think a gray herringbone tweed would look very nice on you. What's the matter, baby? Don't drink so much. You promised me. Manny, please take me with you. What's the matter, Manny? Nothing, Vincent. Why are you leaving? What? Oh, Manny. I'm sorry the Johnson job didn't turn out to be the success we anticipated. Well, I can't understand what happened. I. I planned every detail. I thought I hadn't overlooked anything. 
Perhaps you need a vacation. Well, no. No, I'm sure I'll be all right by tomorrow. Get a good night's sleep. Thank you, Miss. Good night. Leaving, Mr. Cork? Yeah. Hello, this is Mr. Cole. Is Ann Nash left the party yet? Good. Get her to the phone, will you, please? Ann? Yeah. Uh, look, why don't you come on over here? Uh, we'll have a couple of laughs, maybe listen to some music. Well, uh, I'm feeling much better now. Yeah, I changed my mind. Will you be over? That's a good kid. Make it fast, huh? You said you'd be right over. I couldn't get a taxi. Let me take your coat. Are you glad you asked me to come? Now you're talking, baby. I wondered what was wrong with me. I'm crazy about you. I never saw her before. How long have you been hiding her? Tacking her up on the door like that. Why are you afraid to show her off? She's quite a dish. You better go home. I shouldn't have asked you to come. You better go home. Man, are you crazy or something? I've got to be up early tomorrow morning. It's a conference with Mr. Williams. You know how it is. Oh, sure. And you only just remembered it. I must have it pretty bad to take what I take from you. I'll make it up to you, kid. Now, you just be a good girl and leave me alone, huh? There's something the matter with you, Manny. What is it? You're sick. No, I... I just need some sleep, like Mr. Williams says. Okay. Good night. I got him right here, honey. Hello, Manny. Mr. Williams sent me. 